it's hard for us to appreciate how much our society is dependent on the efforts of previous generations. Century after century, our civilization has developed from the time of Jesus 2,000 years ago. The temple in Jerusalem had been built not long before by King Herod the Great, who was the puppet king of the Romans at the time that Jesus was born. It replaced King Solomon's temple, first built around a thousand years earlier and renovated and restored since then. The temple was the pinnacle of the Jewish religion and it was inconceivable to them that the new temple with its enormous stones could be destroyed. Yet in 66 AD the temple and its surrounding buildings were cleared flat by the Romans in punishment for Jewish rebellion. Thirty years earlier, as we will hear in our reading from Mark's Gospel, Jesus had prophesied the destruction of the temple. The kingdom of God had not yet come and there would be war and conflict as people rebelled against God and his desire that we live together in love and peace. At this time of remembrance, when we remember the endings of the two great world wars, we know that war and conflict has continued year after year ever since then. Even today, we know that conflicts continue in many places, especially in the Middle East, such as Syria and Yemen, but also in Sudan and other countries in Africa, and in the Far East, where the conflicts between South and North Korea and around China continue in uneasy truce. Jesus showed us a better way, to live in love alongside one another, when we have enough to share what we have with those in need. The trouble is, we are greedy, and we want more luxuries and more comfort than we actually need. It takes an act of willpower to resist the consumer marketing that tries to convince us that we need more. Our, our buildings and our luxuries will not save us from the climate changes around us. We have to live more lightly on the land.